Hello, welcome back to another fun activity with Miss Kristen at the Heritage Library. Today we're going to be making monster lollipops. This is a really inexpensive activity that you can get super creative with your family at home. Once we're done with the project at the end of the video, you'll learn a bit about the science of melting candy. All right, let's get started. So the materials you're gonna need are a baking sheet, Jolly Rancher hard candies, parchment paper, not wax paper, candy eyeballs, and I found these at Target. And then for this activity, I'll be using popsicle sticks instead of lollipop sticks. I'm also gonna be using a toaster oven instead of a conventional oven today. If you're using a conventional oven, go ahead and preheat it to 250 degrees. So first thing, you want to line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Next up, you're gonna open the candy and place them on the baking sheet. Put the candies together side by side. Make sure that you're leaving enough space to put in your popsicle stick. Place the candy tray in your preheated oven and set your timer to 8 to 10 minutes. Check on your candy periodically to make sure they're not burnt and to observe what is happening to the candy under heat. What do you notice? Once you're ready to take out the candy, make sure you put on oven gloves or use a towel to pull out the hot tray. For this next part, you're going to have to move fast, so make sure you have your candy eyeballs and popsicle sticks ready. Push in your popsicle stick and swirl it around a few times to make sure it's covered in the melted candy. Here comes the fun part, putting in your eyeballs. Let these cool down for a few minutes before taking them off the parchment paper. And here is our final product. So my question to you today is, why do you think the candy flattened out and expanded when you put it in the oven? When most matter is exposed to heat, the molecular structure is forced to expand. When it cools, the molecular structure constricts. For clear hard candy, it has a glass structure, meaning that just like glass, it has a non-crystalline molecular structure. When hard candy is made, corn syrup is added to melted table sugar to keep the sugar molecules from getting organized into crystals. The crystals can't form because the long sugar chains in the corn syrup get in the way and that is why it flattens out with a smooth surface. For further information, check out some books we have in our libraries. Thank you for doing this activity with us. Hope to see you in our next program.